Hey guys, how's it going? Today I want to talk about art school. Specifically, are art schools worth it and should you go to art school? There is no one right answer for this and definitely not a one size fits all kind of solution, but I went to art school and I wanted to share my thoughts and experiences and hopefully that will help you make a decision or at least gain some sort of clarity and get some answers. So we all know art schools can be super super expensive and it's not just the tuition but it's also rent and food and art supplies and depending on what kind of classes you take there may be a lot of professional printing involved professional presentation material involved and don't forget coffee lots and lots of coffee anyway the one thing i would really stress on before you make a decision is research it all comes down to doing thorough research and planning. Yes, art schools are expensive, but there are many options available. There are a lot of online schools available and obviously you can go on site. Once you do your research, you will have a real number on hand. It's different when you say art school is expensive, but it's important to know how expensive and what that number really is. So once you do your research and you know that number, it may still be daunting, it may still be a big number, but you will have a clear idea. And once you have that, you can have a plan. Right, You can make an informed decision of whether or not this is something that works for you. Is this something you can consider paying off or get a loan for? Take help from friends, maybe do it part-time and work to make some money. So once you have a number, you can make a plan and figure it out. Once you know whether you want to go to art school or not and if it's something you can afford right now the other step would be to figure out if the art school you're looking at is the right fit for you does it have the courses you want to take what do students who have gone there have to say about the school what other facilities does the school offer do they offer workshops, maybe some free tutoring, some free help if you need any. All of this would determine whether this art school is a good choice for you or not. Once you have done all your research, it kind of takes the element of surprise out of the picture. And I mean the bad kind of surprise. So once you start school and you get into school, you don't suddenly realize, oh, I always knew it was going to be expensive. I just didn't know how expensive and this is just not going to work out for me. So you've spent a semester, spent the money to go there, spent money on one semester of tuition, food, rent and whatnot, and then realize this is not something you can do long term. Now, that is not the best situation to be in. So definitely 100% do your research. Now, when I'm saying this, am I suggesting that you have to go to art school? No. Nuh-uh, absolutely not. I know so many self-taught artists who are brilliant and amazing at what they do. So if you decide that art school is not something for you, you can still be an artist. There is so much information available online, so many tutorials, so many resources that if you commit yourself 100% to art and learning from all the resources available online, you can still be a very, very good artist. So if you are debating right now whether or not you should go to art school or if this is something you're considering to do maybe in a year or two, let me 
tell you a little something about my school experience and what I got out of it and maybe that will help you. So let me begin by saying that going to art school was definitely a game changer for me. It was one of the best decisions I made. So let me tell you why. The first thing I learned or I got out of art school was a big reality check. Seriously, this was a big one for me. And by that, I mean a reality check on my skill level. And the amount, I I realized how much I still had to learn. It wasn't easy for me at all. I got a good idea about what my strengths are, where I need to still improve. Also, before I joined art school, I thought I loved character design and that's what I'm going to do. Don't get me wrong, I still like to design characters and that is still something I did throughout my school. But then I took a layout design class and I realized how much more I enjoy designing environments and props. So that kind of gave me a good idea of what I really wanted to do. Obviously, like I said before, I did character design and environment and all these other things, but I got a good sense of where my interests really lie. I got to explore. Second, I made tons of art friends. Obviously, I was surrounded by artists all the time and that is super duper motivating. My friends were a great sense of support for me. Art school, like I mentioned before, was definitely not easy. I had a very, very tough time. It wasn't just that I had so much to do, but also I wasn't the best at everything and it was a big learning curve for me. And my friends were always there to support and to help me through difficult assignments and classes. And we kind of made a good team in a sense to motivate each other and to um, you know make sure we all are practicing and we all are going to workshops and we all are doing everything we can to get better at what we do. So having these art friends was invaluable. Third, deadlines and discipline. You have to get to class by a certain time. You have a weekly assignment to submit and you have to do it a certain way. Every class you take will have different expectations out of you. You will not have the same way to do the assignment in every class, right? Now that teaches you a lot of discipline and following very, very specific instructions. Now, whether that is your personal way of working or not is completely irrelevant but you learn to follow what the teacher expects out of you from the assignment and that is pretty much what you will have to do outside if you're working in a studio in any sort of professional environment you will have to work according to how the studio functions right and following directions and making sure you submit your work on time is going to be a very crucial part of your professional life so going through so many classes definitely teaches you that and it's an invaluable resource to have fourth collaboration i worked on so many different projects with so many different artists it was wonderful and I didn't just work with other concept artists and Vistev artists but I also worked with modelers and animators and lighting artists and it was wonderful because I realized how my work was going to be translated into the 3D environment. So working on these variety of projects with so many talented artists was amazing. I met my mentors at art school. They guided me throughout my school time. They give they gave me invaluable career advice and they were always there. For me, art school was definitely a very good decision. But again, going to art school is not going to make you a good artist. Keep that in mind. Just because you go to art school, you don't automatically become a good artist. But 
if you do your research and find a school that fits your needs and utilize everything that the school and the teachers have to offer, then you will definitely come out a better artist. Unfortunately, no school can guarantee you a job. So make sure you have realistic expectations out of school. It's going to be hard and it's going to take a lot of hard work and patience and perseverance, but it's definitely worth it. At least for me, it was and I had the best time in school, even though I had some very difficult classes, it still worked out really, really well for me. And everything I learned right now, I owe it all to my teachers and my friends and art school. So if art school is something you can do right now, I would definitely recommend going. So that's it guys. I hope this gives you some idea and if you have any questions, I would be happy to answer them. Mention them in the comments below and I'll get back to you as soon as I can. So thank you guys for being here and if you haven't yet seen my video from last week, make sure you watch it. I give some tips on how to ask for feedback and critiques on your artwork. And I hope you find that useful. So thank you guys and I'll see you back here next week. Bye!